And back in, uh, we got June 2022, Checkout Extensibility opens new ways to customize checkouts on Shopify. And now it's here and we are faced with upgrades and I've been playing with it and it's pretty cool. I wanted to share it with you. And so uh, we're gonna look at doing just a, a preview upgrade on the checkout for uh, this client store, Hoonigan. Um, and of course, we're not looking at anything proprietary. We're not sharing any special information here. I'm no snitch. But if you go in, you wanna check this out, see if it's available to you. Go in uh, your store in the admin and go to settings, checkout and accounts. And then in here, when I scroll down, I got checkout customization. And here they're asking me, hey, upgrade for a better checkout. And they let you create a draft checkout so you could play with it before actually deploying it to your store. And so we're gonna do it. We're gonna play with it, see what it's like. Let's click create draft checkout. And all right, this guy's gonna open. So far, it looks pretty similar. On the left, we've got customizations and branding. Branding is like the old theme settings that we used to have. So we'll start there. And I'm gonna throw, I got a logo, I'm gonna add my logo. That looks a little big. I want it to, yeah, I want it to match the live site. I want it to be as close to that as possible. So I can see that's 308 pixels wide. So that's actually, I'm gonna set this here to 308. There we go. And on the live site, it's centered. So I'm gonna match that. We're gonna logo alignment center. Uh, and then down, so far the same as the checkout we know and love. And then down here, logo position. Ah, checkout form is where it's at now. That's probably what it'll keep. Order summary, that's kind of cool. And then full width. All right, I don't like full width because it forces the product form down. And then we've got kind of this awkward cutoff. But I do like the traditional checkout form. Maybe it's because it's what I'm used to, but it draws your attention to what we want you to do. You know, it moves, keeps you looking at this checkout form and we can add a background image to it i'm going to skip that uh maybe i'll just i'm going to be fancy i'm going to tweak the background color to fee 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 not that anyone will ever notice that uh order summary over here is my background color is fa 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 but i want to add a background image to it because on this site i recently made this one that is developed from a photograph of their actual uh parking lot their tarmac so background image, just gonna add that image. Maybe not the best for conversions, but I think it looks cool. Sometimes it's okay to do stuff if you think it looks cool. And for our accent, you know, maybe not the best for usability, but to match the brand, I'm gonna choose 333. I'll call that light black. For our buttons, ooh, I want that to match. So I've got a little color picker, I grab that. And we'll just paste in my call to action color. I'm gonna move my head over here. All right. And we got our red button and our error color. All right, it's also red. I'm just gonna make it like bright red. Our form fields remain white. Our headings, this is new and nice. You get a lot more font choices for what you could do here. And so on their site, if I use my what the font tool, I can see this is Source Sans Pro, and down here is Open Sans. Sans, Open Sans. And so we'll do headings. Do they have Source Sans? It's off Kansas for right now, but yes, they do. And then for body, do they have Open Sans? Yes, they do. So now I got more font choices. I could easily make this match the live site. That's great. And so, okay, my theme settings, extremely similar to what I had before with a few new and welcome options. So I'm going to save that. All right, that's really not the important part. The important part here is in um, extensibility. What do they mean by that? Well, now we can drag and drop widgets in here, similar to app blocks, the way they work in Online Store 2.0 themes. And so this is that same idea pulled out. And so we've got, all right, well, like for sure, I want to do cross sells. We use rebuy on the site, which I like. And up here, we've got a rebuy personalization engine. All right, let's paste my widget ID in there. And we're gonna click save. This is interesting down here, app behavior, include app and express checkouts. All right, I haven't tested that. So I'm a little scared by it, but here I'll just enable it, save. Boom, I've added my widget ID. Here it's not showing me anything. Maybe I have to refresh it. I know before I did this, I previewed it and it worked. And so, but like there, it's in my order summary, but it's the first thing it's at the top. I don't know, it might confuse people. Here's the cool part. I could drag and drop it, but I want it under my order totals. Boom, 
All right, now my cross sell widget is under these order totals. There's a good spot for it, I think. Um, good balance of like, you see it, but it's not in the way. We go through some of these others. Can I do anything with these? No, I could just add apps. Okay, well, we also use loyalty points. And so it's given me that widget. We got a bunch of apps in the store. Currently only three support um, these checkout extensions, but I'll take what I can get. So, all right, we've got points at checkout. That seems like a good spot for it. I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna include it in app and express checkouts. And it's telling me it doesn't support points and checkouts. So this I'd have to mess with to fix um, in their app, but you get the idea. Like previously, we'd have to edit checkout.liquid to make this work. And so I've got a third app I can use. Oh, we use address validator on the site. It's got like attention. We only ship. Eh, I don't like that. I want to move that to with my shipping address. Okay, sweet. Put it right there. Boom. Now I've got my new checkout. And so I can click save. This looks good. And if I exit, I know there's a way I could preview it. I'll click this guy. Preview. All right, let's see what it does. You're previewing checkout one. Look at it worked. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so Smile said, hey, not configured, so it hit itself. My widget, my cross sell widget did appear. Perfect. Thrilled with that. All my styling works. It picked up, you can see I've got some custom um, theme language in here for like the email opt-in. I renamed payment, secure payment. That came through, it picked that up. Uh, We've got our SMS sign up still works and then have to set that up. Our policy links are in here. And our fonts match the live site. This is pretty good. I like this. Now why I've got this message up here. We only ship domestically. That's a setting and address validator. I gotta mess with that. I don't even think it's true. I'm pretty sure we ship internationally. But all right, this is, uh, this is an improvement. I like this. So if the checkout extensibility upgrade guide in the Shopify help docs, you search for that. Uh, explains it, and they say plus merchants can use it to customize uh, their checkout because next summer, August 2024, checkout.liquid, which is how you would customize your checkout uh, in the past, goes away. And so we're going to use this new checkout system instead. But so far, uh, working pretty good. I like it. <laughs>